Who's shoot up? Wow, they're hearing you. Steal from each other, lie from each other. It's a, it's a, it's a very nasty place, this place. This is Tanya. She started taking drugs when she was just 10 years old. Now, 31 years later, this is the place she calls a home. A park in the heart of Denmark's second largest city, Aarhus, known as the Needle Park. The only public space where the consumption of any drug is legal. Since the establishment of the heroin assistance program in 2010, five heroin clinics have been set up around the nation. The Danish government annually spends about 11 million US dollars to finance the system, which currently helps around 160 heroin users registered on the program. In Denmark, we have uh, long, long ago decided that we want to take care of the weak people in the society. And this is a sort of weakness. In this case, taking care means providing the users with lifelong supplies of heroin. The program does not aim to keep addicts away from the substance, but just away from the streets. Professor Mads Pedersen, an expert in drug abuse and treatment at Aarhus University, says it's the unorthodox approach and the aim of the program that makes the scheme effective. They have never succeeded in anything, so that's the last thing we have to, to offer this group, to give them some kind of worthy life. But this life comes with a price. For the program to be successful in fulfilling this vision, the participants have to let the program's design take control, meaning strict control on the amount, time and how the drug can be taken, something which many drug users see as taking away their independence. I think the society's look on them will change. They, they are normal, they uh, walk around, they live in houses, uh, they are not uh, criminal in the way they were before. But this is not always the case, especially for Tanya, who is now back on the streets of Aarhus. We still make money and we still do crimes and we still take more drugs. Whatever the case, there is not a high expectation set on the drug users to mix themselves completely amongst the wider society. I don't think they integrate into society, and, and but 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 they get a decent life in the in the community where they live. Each person who comes here has a different story to tell about how they have ended up in this place. You should ask me. What do you think should, should, we should do to make it right? Rudy Joshi, Aarhus, Denmark.